Hey, what's up guys? I'm AvalancheFan133 and welcome back to my NHL 15 Be A Pro Goalie Mode. I'm playing game number 27 on the season here against the Winnipeg Jets. At least I hope I'm playing this. I, it has a little goalie uh, helmet there in the right right corner of the play next game. So I'm hoping uh, I don't have to simulate much. You can see my save percentage right there. My numbers are over here. Six games played. I'm 4-2, uh, 86.0 save percentage, 3.137 goals against average. So I'm doing pretty good. And we're just going to, well, huh, let's look at the calendar. I don't remember what I've played. It's been a little while since I've played. This little calendar thing is so glitchy sometimes. There we go. Uh, I believe last episode was St. Louis. And then I just, I had to simulate a bunch of games. And I don't know what I played and what I didn't. I missed the little goalie icon that popped up on these. I just don't remember. So this will be now in December. Uh, I'm not playing very many games. It usually I have to sim like five or six games after I play just to get into it. Uh, just to get a game that I am starting, which is good. I don't think I should be starting a whole lot. Uh, Winnipeg's at home, so we're on the road. Ready? Uh, I did some gameplay setting changes. I'm now playing on All-Star with eight-minute gameplay uh, period times. Uh, all that should be the same otherwise. Uh, the gameplay settings will just do a quick scroll through. I don't know what I all changed, but you can see all this. That looks... Oh, that is all the way up. Uh, I will also post... Uh, I got these off the internet. Uh, the sliders. Gosh, I can't think of words. Uh, and... I just tried them out and they seem to be working good. I think I only, I always hit left uh, trigger. Uh, I only played like one or two games with these and it wasn't too bad. I think I had a really good game and then a really bad game. I can't remember. I'm gonna hopefully get more uh, episodes out again. I said that last time I put this out. And hopefully get back to the once a week, maybe even sooner. There's all that, there's goalies, but that's all my settings. Uh, I'm also looking to get more just content period out on my channel. So if you watch everything or just watch this, that's great. But uh, I'm hoping to get more involved with more games. I'm gonna do some playthroughs of games. I'm gonna hopefully get into more sports games because I really love sports games the most. It feels like uh, my Kinect's picking me up. Probably shouldn't have it plugged in, but I quite like a lot of the voice controls sometimes. Uh, anyways, yeah, hopefully getting more stuff out. I'm trying to build a computer right now and get more into some more computer stuff. And mainly I wanna get a computer built and I can bring back the face cam and stuff. Anyways, we're 15, nine and two, first in the Central. I think we were second in the Western Conference, only behind the Kings, if I remember correctly. Uh, Minnesota is three points behind us, but they do have two games in hand. All right, let's go ahead and get into this. Um, real life NHL abs are starting off pretty slowly. They're two, four, and two, I think. As far as I know, I haven't been able to watch any of their games. Their first opening night was on NBC Sports Network, but I didn't get to watch that as I was in school for that. And I haven't been able to watch again. And I believe on the 1st, November 1st, they're facing the Blues. So I will be able to watch that. Oh, crap. I don't even know what. Oh, that's next Saturday. I'm actually recording this on Saturday the 25th. So I'm hoping to watch them then. So I, I would make some notes about the gameplay settings. But right now, I can't even remember how it played. I've got to start getting into this more, more uh, daily. I don't, I don't know about daily. I didn't even play daily before, but more often, just more often. Oh, the pass across denied. 
I don't know who's in net for Winnipeg. I assume it's Pavlik or somebody. Ooh, big hit there, loosens up the puck. Matt Duchesne with it. That's all the way across, got picked off. There's Froelich. He's crushed off the puck. Nice hit by Eric Johnson. But it seems like the Avs are starting to play better. Uh, Varlamov got injured ooh, earlier, but he's back now. That's great. I thought he would. Oh, what a chance. Oh, denied again. Thought he was going to be out for a while, and that's blocked. John Mitchell up to Aginla. Into the slot. Stopped by Pavlik. What chances. Holy crap. That was uh, Winnipeg really lucky we're not on the board. 25, I don't even know who this is taking the draw. Won't know yet. Oh, it's Talbot. Okay. McGinn trying to stuff it in, didn't get to. That puck is tipped in the slot. And Galliardi, former Av, pass across. It's poked off the stick. I do believe the defense plays a little better. The other team's defense doesn't seem to play very well, but we'll see how that goes. Further along, fight for the puck. Bogosian up to Perot, over to Galliardi, and up to Thorburn. Winnipeg in, good shot, glove save, gonna hang on. 12.48 left in the first. But yeah, I really wanna try to work harder and get more content out for you guys. Whether that be this, more of hockey. I know you guys love the hockey. And well, I also want to branch out to more things and get really uh, really into more games. I may be doing some more with uh, Madden. I really wish Xbox had a good baseball game. Oh, big hit in the corner for again. Because I used to love hockey or baseball. I just missed. Uh, especially the MVP baseball series EA Sports had. That was so good. And I wish they would bring that back. I would totally do something with that. Oh, that pass got across, and Pavlik has been amazing early. I wish I could be that good. I wish I could get that many shots and be that good. I, at some point, I got to being, like, really careful and... To the point where I almost expect goals to be scored. And that's made me worse. And I need to just stop worrying and just play my game and try to do my best. Not worry about stuff. And I'm trying. I've realized that mostly in part from... I've been playing a lot of Madden. And... Uh, at some point, I get I get to thinking too much, and that just totally throws me off. Oh, Winnipeg in the zone. That's blocked. That's blocked again. Good defense. We'll move out with it. I have not had to face really anything here in the first. It's been all us. Still 0-0, though. We really need to put something on the board. Oh, the initial pass missed, but we got it and had a shot. Good shot. Oh, he's fighting for it. Postma into the zone. Alone, and Hayda will slash him and get called for that. So I get my first real test here with Winnipeg on the power play. Tonight, 0 for 0, 0 shots. Why even show that? To the point. Bufflin across. What a save. It's still loose, and I got it. Wow. Is that Blake Wheeler? It's a great one-timing opportunity. I was ready for it. I was ready to go across to see if it shows the replay. Yep. Nobody covering him. He made the save. Wow. Can't have too many of those, though. I can't stop everything. But also, I need to try to stop everything I can. I cannot... I feel like I cannot count on my defense. I have to expect to everything. To little. Expect Diagonally the tough to opportunities and do a good a against them. The oh, good save. rebound control, not Gets letting that get away. Now we'll hang on. They're getting some opportunities here on this power play. Can't tell who's on the draw for us, but he wins it. Matt Duchesne. Oh, bad clearing attempt, made the save. 
position there. Play can Bad turnover. Continue. Still unable to get it out. Oh, the pass across missed. I wasn't ready for that. Oh, it's still in the zone. That shot up high. Ooh, Stewart finally clears it. Great pressure there by Winnipeg, but I held him strong. Bufflin moving up the right side. Makes the move. Shot way high. That's one thing. Oh, the pass deflected off. Ooh, good hanging on to that. Had to fight for it. Uh, the shot accuracy definitely has been reduced quite a lot, so they're going to miss a lot more shots, which makes it a little more realistic. Ooh, some big hits. like to see that because there wasn't enough hits before. Looked like a little bit of interference right there. Hayda moving up the right. Got rubbed out in the boards, but he got it in behind the net. Winnipeg will regroup and move up with it. Blake Wheeler had a great chance before. Oh, back behind the net. Save. Rebound is got by Wheeler. Shot wide. Whew, this game is this game is pretty awesome. Winnipeg has the puck. Pass to the point. Across. Back and forth. Vander Kane across. Made the save. Oh, apparently he missed. Thought I made that save. Huge hit freeze up the puck. Little blocked. Tangay will move it up to Mitchell and it's Wow. Finally offside, we get a whistle. And this is only the first period. What action going in this game. 148 left, still not even over. Jeez. No score still, too. Danielle Briere up to Talbot. Across, oh, just picked off by Bufflin. Again, got that to Briere, though, to Talbot. Talbot making some room. Briere across in middle. Oh, saved. Goalies have been good. Defense has been decent. Comes Winnipeg with it into that right corner. Oh. Jostled for the puck. That shot wide. I stuck on that post a little. To the point one timer blocked. Fight for the corner, and it's sent down, and that will end the first period. Wow. I don't know how we don't have a score yet. Only 16 total shots in that first, but what chances for both teams. We got the slight edge in the hits, the slight edge in time on attack, the slight edge in passing. Great edge in faceoffs, though. And Winnipeg is 0 for 1 on their power play. That's the one power play of the game. Let's get into the second period. Hopefully my team can break through with a goal. That passes pass hopped over his stick, I think. Vander Kane with the moves and got crushed by Eric Johnson. Fight for the puck. Johnson will get it and move up with it. Pass across. Matt Duchesne with a little move into the slot. Eric Johnson with the slapper saved by Pavlik. That puck was tipped on the way through. It was tipped? Huh. Pavlik has been better. He's had more opportunities against, but nothing allowed so far. Eric Johnson has it after Duchesne won the draw. Across! Oh. Wow. Good chance. Unable to handle that pass. Miettinen over to Shively. And I'll hang on. I tried to pass that out to Barry, but just a bit too late. We're leading in the faceoffs 9 to 3. We're dominating in the faceoff circle. And we win another. Jerome McGinley takes that. Pass up to Tangay. He'll move up. He's doing well for the Avs this year so far. Just hopefully he can stay healthy. Had trouble last year. Across score! John Mitchell, I believe. What passing. It is Mitchell. At 17.02 of the second, John Mitchell opens up the scoring. If you want to generate just pass across. Just tic-tac-toe. You got to find those soft spots in the defense in order wow. to generate and score nice. goals like that. Pavlik's Mitchell got in behind the defense, and Pavlik almost got nice that. Try, just couldn't get there. And it's one to nothing. Just under three minutes have been skated here in the second. I don't know. Okay, again, line Hayda with the assists. Winnipeg's got another face-off win. That was just great passing for us. 
Winnipeg looking to answer, but got, got it taken away. John Mitchell will move up with it. It's a three on two. How will they defend this? Into the corner, Bufflin on him. Pass to Tangay, shot wide. Got tipped. Postma will retrieve it and pass it all the way up to Tangrady, and he'll dump it in. Shot around, Hayda retrieves it first, getting pinned. Got it to Mitchell. Dangerous kick pass. Beginlam will move up the right side. I think that's Bufflin he's working against. Had the pass stopped. The Duchesne slapper saved, and Pavlik will hang on. Definitely not as much uh, back and forth, fast paced action as the first period so far in this game. But we have the goal. Barry with a shot down low. Pavlik made the pad save. Dangerous shot, as I don't think Pavlik saw that all the way. Duchesne on the draw again. We have been winning all the draws, just about. And he loses that one. Winnipeg trying to get out of their own end with it. They will. Little up the wheeler. Cross to Kane. Oh, back and score. And it's all tied up. Did not expect that to go all the way back. But I did get back fairly fast. Could have been faster, though. Who is that? Yeah, freaking Barry. He missed the hit and was out of position. Got that over my pad. And my glove wasn't there in time. So Blake Wheeler ties it up at one here in the second period. Still feel I'm doing pretty good. Uh, could use some more shots, but not anything too dangerous. Oh, here comes a breakaway. Oh, the sensitivity. Oh, he rung it off the crossbar. I stayed with him, but he missed it. I think he had me beat. Whew. I don't know if I've had a breakaway opportunity uh, in this game yet. O'Reilly fights for it and scores. Wow. Got that right. What a ride. They go back down the other way and miss on the breakaway opportunity, and O'Reilly fights for it and rings it off the post and in. Yeah, what a mess. They had a few opportunities to get that out. I love that goal cam in this game, and I love the graphics. This game is very pretty, and I do like the gameplay. They just need to come out with some more updates to improve this game. I am excited already. I'm always excited for next year's game because I'm just waiting on the next game, and I'm always optimistic it'll always be better. Oh, even though sometimes it isn't. Jamie McGinn up to Talbot, and we'll move out with it. We've been pretty good in our own zone, not turning it over. Briere tried to get that pass through. McGinn gets it. Save by Pavlik. Galliardi moving up with it. Oh, what a move, but Holden steals that away. Couldn't think of who number two was for a second there. Here's Briere moving up the left, dumps it in. They're doing a line change. Pass way off its mark. Have to go back and retrieve it, but we got to it first, but turned it right back over. Fight for it. Brace for it. Kane. Ooh. Tried the one-timer. Missed its mark. Little. We'll dump it in. Eight minutes left in the second period. Need to be good with it in our own zone. Cleesh. We'll move that up to Winchester, and Winchester up to Bordelow. Fourth line out here, and Bordelow shot it into the stands. Eighteen to eight, we're out shooting them. So they still haven't even reached double digits shots, and we're more than halfway through the second. I'll go spinning in behind the goal line. Landeskog will lay down a big hit to steal that away, getting pinned, and the Jets will get it. Ooh, pass across way up. And crushed. Race for it. For leak. Ooh. Got a save. Might have been playing a bit too far to my right. Oh, Landeskog had a good defensive play against him. 
As Winnipeg got it. Pass missed the mark the to the point. There's a lot of missed passes too now, which I feel makes it feel a little more realistic. Ooh, made the save. Winnipeg with some opportunities here. Stewart, oh, I got ran into. Probably wouldn't have held up if it went in. But it was wide, probably got tipped. Matt Duchesne passed back. Oh, I don't know why he did that. If he would have gotten around the defender, he could have had a really good chance. Maybe even a break. For Leak. The Shifley. Good move around. Postma. Across! I was ready for it. Missed its mark. Good defense. Tange. Move up to Aginla. Pass back to Tange. Don't know how that got to him. And that's finally stolen away by Winnipeg. Two minutes left here in the second. Winnipeg looking for another opportunity. They missed the pass. It will go all the way down. Race for it. Bortolo's not fast enough. He'll pin Bufflin, but Winnipeg will move up with it. Pass across, and it's out of the zone. Last minute here in the second. Cleish with it. Don't know where he's going, and he turned it over. Wheeler across, missed. That's all it is, is just them missing passes. Cleish, Winchester, we're having trouble in our own end now. Almost out of time, just, there we go. Second period over, we'll take the two to one lead going into the third. Winnipeg finally has double digit shots and they have 10, we have 18, almost doubled up on them. Uh, still got the two hit advantage and time on attack's pretty even, so it's passing. Face offs, eh, they caught a little bit back up but we are up 13 to six. Winnipeg did have that one breakaway, but rang it off the crossbar. So here we go. Hopefully we can hang on to this lead. Maybe get another. I just don't want to give up anymore. I want to win this game. Oh, shot blocked. Here comes Little. The Kane. Good move. He's moving right in. Don't know where it is. Finally, we get it. There was a blocked shot in that mess. O'Reilly gets crushed. It's loose. Oh, he missed the net. I didn't get across for that one. Oh, save on that one on a bad turnover. Winnipeg really fighting for it. Pass across. Whew. Don't know what's going on, but we are not getting rid of the, ball, the puck. Still fighting for it. Need this puck out of the zone. Looks like it's finally calmed down for the most part, and we'll get it out. Matt Duchesne will send it in deep. Line change. Bergosian. He's Froley. Over to Little. Fight for it. It deflected wide off somebody. Shot up high. Don't know if that hit anybody. Ooh, Eric Johnson picked that off. A lot of fight for it around the net. And those close quarters plays are scaring me a little. Tange gets sent to the ice. Winnipeg uh, having the better of the puck possession so far here in the third. Falik. Cross got picked off by McGinn. Mitchell has it. Pass up to McGinn. You know, I haven't seen Nathan McKinnon. I wonder if he's injured. I don't know what our injuries are, and I don't think I can look at our injuries, sadly. So much missing in this via pro. But he must be injured or something. He's been near invisible. Oh, I had to make a save on a pass. Briere gets knocked to the ice. Oh, couldn't get the shot off right in front. Don't know what I'm doing. Had a really solid game here. Oh, that was a hook. Good, it was called. I thought it was missed for a second there. And we'll get our first power play of the game. That was one thing. I remember one of my games was uh, there was more penalties. There were a lot of penalties, and I was thinking I was going to have to turn them down. I don't think I did. And there's only been, this is only the second one of this game. 
Mitchell wins the draw. Holden over to Tange. Back to Holden. Oh, shot way high. Across score! Jerome Ginla sitting out in front of the net and gets the pass and scores. That's an insurance marker. We have a two goal lead now. Ginla assists go to Tange and Holden. He made the, right decision by the shot went wide, but Tange was able to pass, able grab to that, and pass it. across sweet saucer pass on the shooter stick. to Ginla, who was not being well defended. Huge, huge insurance marker. As Winnipeg was getting some good looks offensively, and I wasn't comfortable with only a one-goal lead. Hopefully we can still hold on to this. Pass across. Missed its mark. Perot. Got stepped up on by the defender. He got away, but dumped it in. Eric Johnson to the middle, to Mitchell. Pass missed, it looked like a Ginla. And Winnipeg will move up with it again. TJ Galliardi over to Thorburn. He's got a little bit of room. Ooh, bad. Oh. Really bad angle shot. I pulled off the post. And my goalie more of darted off the post. Was not expecting that. And... One, I wasn't expecting that initial shot right there. They never shoot it like that there. And I still call my goalie Abbott. <laughs> uh, if he hadn't moved that left pad, I could have stopped it. I've seen some really bad goalie uh, animations that, like, if they didn't do that animation, he would have stopped it. Oh well, they got it right back, and it's three to two. Bad move by me. I screwed that one up. And Winnipeg has life. They needed that goal early and quick. In the corner, O'Reilly finally gets it. Pass across to Landeskog. All the way across the ice, and Landeskog will send it in deep. Matt Duchesne in after it. He gets it. Matt Duchesne to O'Reilly was great. Shot, but denied. O'Reilly gets it back. Sends it in deep behind the goalie. Bufflin got, got it, knocked it down. It was bouncing a lot. Good move. Here comes the Jets. Slater making some room, and I had to make two saves on him. Cutting through the defense, he got a good initial shot and his own rebound. But I was able to stop both of them. Maybe a replay of something. Here's Ray Ferraro. So Winnipeg Jets. There's the He's ring off the post on the no, thanks, breakaway Ray, and the miss there. It's amazing how close they have come and then just not 707 left. Draw in our own zone. Continue. Talbot on the draw. To lose it, little won it. Oh, good save. Pass wasn't able to be handled. Gain across. Whoo. A lot of cross crease passes. They're missing a lot. That's good. So those don't always work. Talbot gets crushed and Winnipeg back the other way. Oh, didn't expect that to go that far across and they score. I'm having some trouble reading the play. Those last two goals show that. Vander Kane, I got back up. Kane's quick wrist shot surprised the goaltender. That's why I stay down sometimes, because you get up and they shoot it right as you're getting up, you're screwed. It's down, got up, and uh, I don't know what I was doing there. Just reached out the right hand. Keep the garage door shut, and it's a save. 5.39 left, and we have a tie game as I have fallen apart here in the third period with two bad goals allowed. I had some bad movements there that I shouldn't have allowed. Got our fourth line out there. Patrick Bordalo up to Barry. Ooh, Winchester shot that high. I need to tighten it up and play better, or else we're going to lose this game. Shifley, shot, save, glove. Went off the glove. Wardlow pass across to Cleish, and he'll send it in deep. Wardlow retrieves it first. Up to Winchester, and he's shot wide again. 
Fight for it. Getting some opportunities with this fourth line. But Winnipeg will move up with it. Proli. Oh, across and Bortolo coming back to make the good defensive play. But gave it up. Ooh, I was expecting that pass to go to Kane right there on my right. Might have been going that way, but it was tipped. Sent in deep. Kane gets to it first. It's not the guy we want it. Oh, made the save. Not the guy we want to have it. Kane might be their most dangerous player. Barry moving up with it on the right side. He's dangerous. Pass across. Bogosian was waiting there for it. Put it right into his wheelhouse. Here's Little. Last minute. Pass across. It went out of the zone as it missed the mark. Thorburn up to Kane. Evander Kane. He's working with it. Oh, the shot, the stick broke. It'll be a penalty. We'll get our second power play with 40.1 seconds left in the third. Let's see this replay, because I, I didn't even see the uh, penalty. This was okay about 10 years ago. Not anymore. That's a hooking call. Hmm. I think I was looking at the wrong player. Anything you oh, well. Do once, you can do twice. We're one for yeah, one. Very quick power play goal play. on our last one. But we have 40 seconds left in the and third, the and it'll carry run. into overtime if we don't score. That just went off holding the stick and went down. Oh! Opportunity. Don't know if I made the save or if he just shot it wide. I did not see him beating out my guy until it was too late. Whew. Close call there. John Mitchell with it on the left side. Pass to the point. Pass back in front. Oh, again low with the chance. It's still loose. Pavlik covers. Oh, that was, that was scary. Winnipeg now with two breakaways. I don't know if the game will count that as a breakaway, but it's a breakaway in my book. Loose puck. John Mitchell won the faceoff. Hayda got bumped. Still got control. Holden over to Tange. Back in front. Oh, save made. Jerome Ginla over to Tange. They've had some chemistry. Shot in front again and save. Now, Ginla and Tange, I think they might have been teammates at one point in Calgary. I could be wrong. I believe they were. It seems about the right time point. Only 0 0.6 seconds left. I don't know if we could get a shot or not off. Likely go into overtime. Yep. I also don't know if they ever played online, but in this game, at least, they seem to have uh, some good chemistry. Well, I wish we could have wrapped it up there in the third, but I was not good enough. And it's 3-3. I've given up one too many goals. I could have sat at one goal allowed this game. I should have been playing better. Low shot totals in this game. But those will go up a little bit because of this overtime. Really hoping we can pull out of here with a win. We have 120 on the power play. We're 5-1 and one on, in overtime. Winnipeg's 2-1. Like like we won shootouts. the faceoff. Oh, Landis Cog got crushed, and that will be sent down. Not able to get that as I'm Colorado's still stuck on my post. Good thing Eric Johnson got that first. The clock ticks down on the power play. 50 seconds left. Pass up to Landis Cog. He's in. Into the middle of the ice. Slapper wide. And Winnipeg will get that down. The two guys on our team unable to get that puck away. Tyson Berry in behind the net. Pass out in front for Matt Duchesne, and he'll skate up with it. Into the Winnipeg end. Moving in. Moving away. In front. But missed. We are back to even strength, and Duchesne just had that puck poked away from him. That puck will slide down. Is that going to be icing? No. Oh, yeah, it is. That's why I didn't uh, go for it. 2.57 left. We're 0 for 1. 0 and 1. They're 0 and 2 in shootouts. So one of us will get a win if it goes to shootout. I don't think I've played a shootout yet in this game. Little save. I'm going to hang on. Rather not take any risks. 2.25 left. 20 to 10, we're leading in faceoffs. Faceoff, won by us, got it poked away. It will, oh, I just got crushed by Little. Made the save. 
Let's see, I, in my opinion, that should have been a penalty. Ooh, almost could have been picked off. I don't care whether it went in or not. Sometimes that should be a penalty. Supposed to be protecting the goalies. I just didn't, it isn't like if you crush the goalie, it's fine, unless the puck went in the net. Puck in behind the net, Winnipeg has it. Pass out in front, he scores. Oh, I was expecting it. I don't know what's going on with me. I'm a little bad on that move off the post. I moved way too far to my left. Twice in this game. He roofed that puck. Barry and Johnson stuck behind the net. Yeah, I just slid way over to my left. Ah, uh, I got worse as that game went on. Or I just was bad and didn't notice it until, you know, they started getting better opportunities. I don't know, but a very bad overtime loss. At least we did get a point out of it. Ooh, it looks like the times are a little messed up. Hmm, bad numbers there. Looks like the ice time's a little messed up. Tyson Berry with 34 minutes. They're not bad except for our top two defenders. See, like, these are okay. I don't know. Top two defenders play a little too much in the gameplay. But, oh well, I'm not going to worry about it. Just a tiny little flaw. Hey, so another loss. I think that's my first overtime loss. We're just about halfway through the season. We should be really close uh, by the time I record my next episode. Actually, it might be even past the halfway point by the time I record my next episode. I'm going to try to play a few games in between. Hey, down to 85%. I do like seeing the shots and saves. Not doing good. Uh, I've never done really good in these uh, be a pro goalies. But it's so hard on these games because of how the balancing is just too messed up on these games. The goalies are really, really good, and the defense is really, really bad. I think they have bad defense, so EA Sports balances that out by making the goalies better. I don't know. If you have people controlling the defenders, I'm sure it would be a lot better. But oh well. Uh, so that was that. That was Winnipeg. Uh, I'll look at the standings here in just a second, right after I look at the calendar. Uh, I'm assuming next episode will probably be in January. That's just the assumption. I don't know how many games I'll get to play in between episodes. Uh, also, it'll probably simulate a lot because I won't be playing a lot. Just going to look at the standings. You can see my numbers from that main menu screen. Uh, we're 15. Oh, that's... Oh, I was looking at regulation wins. <laughs> looking all the way over there before uh, I thought they were three points behind and we had 15 points why would I think that we have 15 wins so we have 33 points Minnesota has 31 our divisions pretty tight except for Dallas I don't know why Dallas is so bad but there we are at 33 we have now three games above Minnesota who is only two points behind us which isn't good let's go look at Western Conference and we're second in the West. That might change after I simulate some, but, you know, we'll see. Uh, I guess there's no way. McKinnon was leading us in scoring, I think. No way to see our injuries. As far as I know, there's no way. Let's see activity feed. Anything? Player and pick trading. I don't want that. Uh, player injuries? Can I sort it by my team? Not exactly. Won't even... Oh, right thumbstick. Nathan McKinnon has been injured to evaluation pending. That's all it says. Doesn't even say how long or anything. Uh, so many things missing. I just really hope they add more. Get, give me more or more. I, I, there isn't much missing, I guess. But there's some really key things. I want to change my number. I don't want to be number 10. And uh, I don't know. I don't know why it says other goalie, too. A butterfly. And a backup. I'll put one of those. I don't know. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked the video and the episode. And hopefully I'll get another one out around Thursday, maybe a little after. What is today? It's just Saturday. I don't know when this will be up. Hopefully in the next few days. 
and uh, I'm just trying my best. I'll, I'll look forward to more stuff out there. Maybe more Madden stuff. I don't know if I'm going to do any more uh, connected franchise stuff. But I may do some more, some like solo stuff where I'm a player. Kind of like this, be a pro goalie. And you can expect more games, other games, not just sports games, hopefully. And yeah, uh, I can't think of anything. Uh, remember to subscribe if you liked it, uh, if you're not already, and check out my other videos. I got a link in the description to the playlist to this uh, series. And uh, follow me on Twitter. I post on Twitter when I post a new video and if a video that I had scheduled is going to be late or something like that. And uh, that's about it. Please like and comment. And I'm AvalancheFan133, and I will talk to you guys later.